We have given away a front yard to Assam, sir. A gateway, a state's gateway has gone to Assam. The Kabupan Power Book, Kaipot, Namji Rangba, the Jala Meklea, Conrad Kisangma, Haloka Kami Pinbe Kaput, a Pring Jala Meklea by Assam, Bakam Longabashai, Chief Web Kalyang Persia, Yin Robot Hawang Jala, by George Bilingdo, along by Wat Kurdop, and Rung Shakajala Meklea, Kabadan Hanapararu, Kalalino, Shajala Assam. A Bakran Yagani, a Bonra Egamat Itai Kerpang, Haloka Kami Pinbe Put, a Pringiki Arjala, Halo Hundred League Jakai Kanat Put, Kabadan Mantahami Katar Kampo Yang Kari India, Lingbag, MOU Blay Soy Dungeon. Bawa cuaca pulau Aung bakalang besok ya. Halau kap kana para pilang kata nak ni kecingi pinbej puat bermata. Pulau Aung bawa nak ni kecaka kasam kan yo. Iway punya pendai square kilometer. Perkara mekhalaya kan batang north point sun square kilometer. Dak bakdau batang nak kana para laai north point arfinyo square kilometer. Kebemut nru nru akar si kasam. Nalor kecing ayat di kasam bandra iu puat bermuncwa. Kata nadu surak selong kau ti berim. Hadu sedian ke STC transit camp. Ia kebalak kam badan hapreng kadispur. Lawang bahalor kini kecakap kamdan kata kecingnya rengkat bat sandli kibun taba khamat e hak kami pun baik put. Dakwa bahong bahasa kerajaan lakal aish ke asam ya kerdap bandung saya kecakap meklea. Lawang bahu mauhi persia bat kumnu kipaj ba kinsko. Finally, sir, we come to this day having this discussion on another attempt in the past six months to settle the meklea asam boundary dispute. And yesterday we were informed that the entire basis of the settlement have been arrived at under following parameters. Number one, the historical perspective. Number two, the ethnicity of local population. Number three, the contiguity with the, with the boundary, people's will and administrative convenience. So after going through the statement laid by the Honorable Chief Minister yesterday, I would like to thank the efforts taken under his leadership to take forward the discussions and the negotiations with the counterpart to try to resolve this issue. And as per the statement made, there has to also been an MOU that has been signed between the two governments of Assam and Meghalaya. And it was decided, I'll read, sir. It was decided that any other area of villages situated outside the area of difference shown in the map submitted by Mehalia via the letter POL.78-2010 209 dated 8 August 2011 will not be considered. So it is made to understand sir only the six areas of differences will be taken up in the settlement and at the same time sir the MOU has also been signed on 29 January 2022 based on the reports of the three regional committees and the purpose of this MOU is to come to a conclusion to the interstate boundary between the states of Assam and Meghalaya in respect of the six areas of differences out of the 12 areas of difference as furnished by the state of Meghalaya write the letter POL.78-2010-209 dated 8th August 2011 for delineation and demarcation with the fixation of boundary pillars on ground. Therefore, sir, this decade-long effort is being brought to a conclusion through this MOU signed on 29th of January 2022 taking into consideration the claims that have been made by the Meghalaya government on 8th August 2011, sir. Sir, it was also informed that a copy of the MOU has been submitted to the Union Minister on 31st January 2022 for examination and consideration of the Ministry of Home Affairs. At the same time, the Honourable Prime Minister has been intimated on 31st of January 2022 seeking his intervention and support. Sir, however, sir, after going through the statement and also the all-party meeting that was held, we could feel, sir, that there was still a lack of clarity on the areas that have been settled on, the names of the villages, the locations, the 
space as to how much has been bargained or settled and what can be understood from the presentation made yesterday is that some villages will come to Meghalaya and some would also go to Assam based on those five parameters. Therefore, sir, we can infer that a give and take policy was adopted by the state government considering the ground realities based on those five parameters. Yesterday also, sir, the Honourable CM had tried his best to highlight in the all-party meeting on the settlement that has been agreed upon, but yet again, sir, the integrities were not very clear, sir. Therefore, sir, as things were not clear, on how much area was retained as claimed in 2011, as a responsible opposition, we had to look for more information on this entire settlement. We were looking forward for a PowerPoint presentation. We were looking forward for the areas of how much uh, space was given to Assam, the entire measure, measurements, but then that didn't come, sir. So we had to look for more information. Therefore, sir, we obtained a presentation made by the Assam government on 18th of January 2022, where the Honorable Chief Minister of Assam had made this presentation before the all-party meeting held in Guwahati, sir. So this presentation that was made by the government of Assam, in fact, gave us a better perspective of things and gives us an opportunity to present a comparative and a transparent information before the people, sir. What can be said, sir, is that some of the claims made by our Honorable CM matched with those of the Assam government. But there are some areas which needed more clarity, especially in how much area was retained or lost based on the claims of 2011, sir. Sir, as per the data submitted by the Assam government, in their all-party meeting, the division of areas are as below, sir. Hahim area, 3.51 square kilometer. And the final recommendations of the MOU, sir, and are settled. 0.3 square kilometer will go to Assam. 3.21 square kilometer will come to Meghalaya. Jizang, 13.53 square kilometer, of which 10.63 square kilometer will go to Assam, and 2.90 square kilometer will go will come to Meghalaya, or will be retained, will be the exact word, sir. Tarabari, sir, 4.69 square kilometer, zero square kilometer given to Assam, 4.69 square kilometer retained in Meghalaya, sir. Boklapara, 1.57 square kilometer, sir, 1.01 square kilometer retained or given to Assam, and 0.56 square kilometer retained in Meghalaya, sir. Khanapara Pilankata, 2.29 square kilometer, total area of dispute, of which 1.79 square kilometer has gone to Assam and 0 0.50 square kilometer has been retained by the state. Ratachira area, sir, 11.20 square kilometer, 4.78 square kilometer has gone to Assam and 6.42 square kilometer has been retained by Meghalaya, sir. So therefore, sir, in the statement made by the Honorable CM were 18 square kilometer more or less. I'll give the exact figure, sir. 18.51 square kilometer given to Assam and 18.28 square kilometer has been retained by Mikalia, sir. Sir, in the number of villages or areas where the settlements have been made, the exact number from the presentation given by the government of Assam, area-wise, Hahim, two areas have gone to Assam, 11 areas retained by Meghalaya. Jizang, four areas have gone to Assam, three areas retained by Meghalaya. Tarabari, eight areas have gone to Assam, seven has been retained by Meghalaya. Boklapara, two areas have gone to Assam, two have been retained by Meghalaya. Khanapara Pilankata, three areas have gone, or six areas have gone to Assam, 
and three areas have been retained by Meghalaya. Ratachira, one area has gone to Assam and three areas retained by Meghalaya, sir. Of all these areas mentioned in the presentation, sir, 22 areas have come to, have been given to, uh, to Assam, 22 areas have been given to Assam and 29 areas have been retained by Meghalaya. Sir, what is clear in the settlement is that we have given away property in Jizang, Kanapara and Tarabari while retaining the claims and habitats along the other stretches. So as per the settlement, the major concern for me is the area of Kanapara and Pilankata where Assam will be given 1.79 square kilometers sir, and Meghalaya will retain 0 0.5 square kilometers. Only around Khanapara area, sir, not only the Khanapara Pilanketa, only in Khanapara area, sir, we are giving away 0.27 square kilometers of land, which roughly translates to 66 acres of prime property. And we are made to understand that the Assam government has been allowed to shift the previous boundary of the state, which runs along the old GS road, sir, that will be shifted and coming to behind the STC transit camp on the grounds that it is in the heart of the spur. So, perhaps we have satisfied the Assam government on the claim on this, sir. I don't know whether the people will accept this agreement or not, sir, but then from my perspective, I think in this particular plot of area around the Khanapera area, sir, we have not stuck to the five parameters, sir, neither the historical perspective, nor ethnicity, and others. I object to this, sir. I do not agree on this, as we have given away much of our prime property, violating the five parameters of settlement. We have given away a front yard to Assam, sir. Our gateway, our state's gateway has gone to Assam. Sir, the STC transit camp was built just a couple of years ago. And we had gone, we had seen the space, we had objected to it, we have alerted the state government and the district administration. Nothing was done, sir, and now that becomes a boundary pillar for the Assam government. Sir, another perspective is that several villages falling under the jurisdiction of various Himas will now fall under Assam as well. The reason cited because of that ethnicity that are residing in those villages, they are not willing to come to Assam or to Meghalaya, but then we are yet to consult the Sames and Himas and traditional institutions on this particular agreement and settlement, sir. That what could be inferred from the information available is that many indigenous tribal villages will also be going to Assam. Sir, so, there are also reports that have been, uh, been circulating in the press where people have gone and uh, met with some of the residents of the area and they have expressed their apprehensions of why they should not come to Meghalaya. Indigenous tribal population of the state, sir, they were scared that once they come to Meghalaya, they'll fall under the sixth schedule, they'll fall under the Land Transfer Act, they will be scared, they are scared of losing their prime property and ownership. And these apprehensions were not allayed by the state government and not confidence, confidence middling measures were not given. So these people have stated their will of staying in Assam, sir. Sir, we are scared as to what will be the fate of these our indigenous brothers and sisters once we tag them with Assam. Sir, from amongst the five parameters laid down for the settlement, historical perspective and people's will were, were very important. And yesterday the Honorable CM has also informed during the all-party meeting that demographies have changed. They have changed suddenly in these past 10 years. In some locations where originally there were only two settlements, now in those areas there are four settlements because of change in demographies. Therefore, sir, due to change in demographies, they may, people may, may have opted to Assam because of the policies and the land registration uh, systems that have been put in Assam to facilitate people to ensure that their property gets registered in Assam. 
Therefore, sir, in such areas, the historical perspective is erased because of the changing demographies. Sir, this is a reality in many of the locations as well. Whatever we are presenting now, sir, is perhaps just to highlight as perspectives our stand on the settlement. Because since the MOU has already been signed on 21st of January 2022, I think the deal has been sealed. And we have seen a hurried approach, sir, by the state government. And this August House was never taken into confidence. The all party meeting was held at the last moment just because the Honorable CM was about to go to Delhi tomorrow. It is learned to settle with the Ministry of Home Affairs and have further engagements with them. Sir, we expected that there was, there was supposed to be a special discussion on this prior to the, the MOU being signed. Because if you look from the Assam perspective, sir, their all party meeting was held on 18th of January 2022 prior to the Honorable CM of Assam signing the agreement with the Honorable CM of Meghalaya. We were taken for a right, or rather, sir, the rush. We could have also been called, sir, where we could have had members who have not had the privilege of visiting the ground. We could also see, sir. But then, sadly, sir, that didn't happen. We are now helpless. Even if there are ways to improve the settlement, I think we cannot do anything now, sir. Sir, what is missing in the settlement, sir, is about the areas which do not fall under the 12 areas of difference. Because what we are seeing now is the encroachment of Assam. Just last year we saw Yongkuli, before that several other villages, where the Assam government keeps on encroaching through luring the residents of free land registration all across the Assam Meghalaya borders. Now, even though settlements are there for the, six, the prevalent six areas of differences, but then there are more areas of, of uh, claims and counterclaims now rather than what we saw 50 years ago. So, what will happen to these areas? As we speak, settlements keep growing. Status quo has not been called. And the settlement that has been sought, perhaps now we may get some of the areas, but we may lose most of the areas again in the coming few years. Sir. The demographies are changing rampantly, where we are seeing the people registering Meghalaya's land with Assam. Sir, I think we should have updated our stand on this, sir, with the problems of today, as we cannot ignore the areas of non-differences, as we are losing a precious land to the tactics of Assam and now that we have given away 66 acres or 0.27 square kilometers of land in Kanapara, few years more we may be ending up losing more and more land, sir. I'm not happy with the settlement, sir, considering that as a representative of Riboy district, this settlement with Assam, especially losing precious land around Kanapara, I'm not happy and we have lost our state's gateway considering the settlement that has already been signed, sir. If possible, sir, I still urge the state government to correct this and withdraw its consent to give away 66 acres of land in Kanapara to Assam as we are giving away the state's gateway and prime economic property that has brought huge benefits to the state, sir, in terms of revenue. Sir, we should not give up on the claims that have been made in 2011, sir and not be forced into a settlement such as this.